Hello, I'm Patrick Reams, Managing Director of Commodity Point, and welcome to our latest version of uh, Conversations with Leaders in CTRM Technology. I'm very pleased today to have with us uh, Dr. Gary Doris, uh, President of Ascend Analytics. Uh, brief background on uh, Dr. Doris. Uh, he's been a pioneer in innovation of solutions for energy risk management and portfolio planning over about the last 20 years or so. Uh, for the last decade, uh, Dr. Doris has uh, organically grown Ascend Analytics to be a leading provider of uh, quantitative software solutions for energy portfolio management and data infrastructure. Uh, his analytic innovations have extended towards the development of over a dozen software products uh, being used by more than 50 energy companies in the industry. Prior to co-founding, uh, prior to founding Ascend, excuse me, uh, he served as CEO and uh, Chief Mar Model Architect for eAcumen. 60-person uh, analytics software firm. Uh, he began his career developing structured power transactions at Citizens Power and Light, uh, and then as a consultant with Hagley Bailey. Uh, Dr. Doris holds his PhD in Applied Economics and Finance from Cornell. He also has a BS in Mechanical Engineering and a BA in Economics uh, with magnum cum laude uh, distinction, also from Cornell University. So again, Dr. Gary Doris, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Patrick. Uh, for those that aren't familiar with Ascend Analytics, uh, could you give us a brief background on the company and its capabilities? Sure. Ascend is a 10-year-old energy analytics software company. Our focus is in the area of portfolio management and data infrastructure solutions. In the area of portfolio management, we're focusing on covering decision analysis support over the continuum of time, from very short-term operational decisions to intermediate-term balance a month to the next five years out over the liquid portion of the Ford market to long-term planning decisions mm -hmm. going out at 30 years in resource selection. In data infrastructure, our activities focus on providing the data to run these complex models, mm -hmm. largely market data. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, given that, that, that focus, what do you think uh, really differentiates Ascend Analytics from your competition? Is, is it the depth of functional capability? Is it the breadth of offering? Uh, you know, quality of sport price, uh, wh what do you think it is? Well, I think when you look at Ascend, every facet of our offering is distinct from our competitors and we're going incredibly rapidly as a result. So we tend to have more advanced and sophisticated uh, analytic solutions, but yet we're distilling the information down into the actionable intelligence that people need mm -hmm. uh, to make informed decisions and better manage and leverage their assets, mm -hmm. uh, be them uh, generation assets or retail customers or integrated utilities, mm -hmm. uh, or just understanding the risks associated uh, with their assets or positions. Mm -hmm. uh, and where we fall uh, in the spectrum relative to CTRM is we are providing the analytics, mm -hmm. complementing uh, the, the core competency of CTRM solutions mm -hmm. uh, with analytics that uh, really enable companies uh, to gain insights into their portfolios and how to best leverage them in the market with respect to decisions, most commonly in the immediate term, mm -hmm. hedging, where they can have the, the most uh, impact. Mm -hmm. But uh, clearly long-term decisions and asset acquisitions and short-term operational decisions are key too. Mm -hmm. uh, where the uh, history of CTRM solutions is firmly ensconced in the financial area in capturing positions and reflecting these positions in terms of uh, financial instruments. We're crossing a chasm into the physical space. Mm -hmm. and, and this analytic bridge enables companies to understand their gross margins through time in addition to traditional metrics of value at risk and credit. Mm -hmm. uh, the companies really do need to understand the linkage between the financial and the physical. And what we're doing is simulating uh, market prices or expectations of prices, the Ford markets from today through expiration, and then capturing the during delivery dimension of weather load spot prices and asset operations and, and retail obligations as they uh, relate to the physical conditions. Mm -hmm. uh, this enables companies to, to then understand how to leverage their positions with respect to the physical, which is distinct from the financial, because during delivery they have extreme amounts of risk mm -hmm. uh, that aren't captured in the pure financial renderings uh, of traditional CTRM solutions. Uh, given that, that you do interact quite a bit with those, those asset-heavy uh, companies that operate in the marketplace, uh, what are you hearing from them going forward in, in terms of 
how that, that asset-heavy marketplace is developing and what they see as their future needs. Uh, uh, what are they looking for? What's most important or critical to them right now? The, the, I'd say the market is changing substantially. Mm -hmm. uh, companies realize the importance of uh, managing their cash flows through time mm -hmm. uh, more effectively. Obviously, the volatility in the market has changed the spark spreads and generation assets, put a lot of pressure under base load generation, mm -hmm. and uh, provided a lot of impetus for people to begin looking at generation assets that have more flexibility or optionality. Right. Uh, Extracting that extrinsic value from those generation assets is critical mm -hmm. uh, to realizing kind of that latent value of investment. In order to do so, you really need to model the physical dimensions of these assets with respect to the, the observed spot prices, mm -hmm. traditional production cost modeling, but also link in markets expectations, board market prices, and then how to leverage these assets more fully mm -hmm. with derivative contracts to mitigate the uncertainty in future cash flows. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot around optimization then and making sure that with those highly flexible resources that they do optimize the, the op both operationally and financially. Uh, exactly. I, I mean, it's all about uh, risk-adjusted return mm -hmm. and understanding what that is and making sure that you're constructing a portfolio of hedges consistent mm -hmm. um, with your corporate risk profile. And the ability to visualize that and understand that and the relative impacts of, of different hedging strategies uh, is, is critical. And I think that's where um, the physical dimension comes into play with the financial dimension. And it's that analytic bridge uh, that is really enabling companies to, to frankly make much better decisions and uh, leverage their assets more fully in the market, mm -hmm. realizing a lot more value. True. Um, uh, when we have these kind of conversations, the one question I always like to, to ask is to, to look forward a decade or so. I mean, you've been in this marketplace now almost as, uh, well, as long as I have. Uh, I don't like to talk about how old I am, but uh, nonetheless. Uh, so how do you see the market developing over the next 10 years or so? What's, what's the... What's the Gary Doris crystal ball say as far as how the market's going to develop and, and what are the technology needs that are going to track with that development over the next decade? The uh, market is going to develop differently than uh, what we're having in the past. Mm -hmm. uh, and what we're seeing in our space uh, in terms of the software space and decision analysis is a, a break between the traditional CTRM solutions providing everything to CTRM and their core focus uh, being largely position capture to uh, higher end analytic solutions mm -hmm. as a set providing uh, the core decision analysis. So there is uh, becoming a distinct need and realization that analytics mm -hmm. are key to driving value in businesses. In terms of uh, where companies are going in the broader market, uh, we've certainly seen structural change with natural gas prices mm -hmm. and fracking right. and that's going to permeate throughout the industry in terms of uh, retirement of coal generation. Mm -hmm. We've seen in parts of the country, particularly the Pacific Northwest, where we've had a lot of negative prices as well as in Texas, uh, the need for assets that have flexibility. Mm -hmm. So optionality of uh, generation assets has become critical. Uh, because of large amounts of renewables coming into the system. Mm -hmm. And it's likely that renewables will continue to come into the system and put further pressure on uh, assets that don't have the flexibility uh, to ramp up and ramp down quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, combined with uh, th those market dynamics plus the regulatory dimension on coal, we're going to see a, a large transition in natural gas, realistically, if I was to have a crystal ball <laughs> on the production right. side. And, and on the software side, you know, we're just seeing enormous growth and potential um, and interest on leveraging uh, investments, be them retail or wholesale, more fully mm -hmm. through a replete set of analytics. Mm -hmm. Terrific. Uh, Gary, we're uh, unfortunately out of time for uh, our conversation today, but I, I definitely appreciate you coming by. Uh, it's, uh, as always, it's, it's uh, very interesting. Uh, you've got a, a, you know, a very complete view of, uh, of uh, risk management around assets, it's always, so it's always informative to, to have the conversation with you. So again, thanks for dropping by. Thank you very much, Patrick. It's thanks. been a pleasure. Thanks. Uh, so that wraps up our, our latest edition of uh, Leaders in CTRM Technology. Uh, we look forward to having you guys visit with us again in the future. Uh, always visit the CTRM blog or the Commodity Point website where you can find more uh, videos. Uh, so again, thanks for joining us today.